All right, today we're gonna bring our 8K splitter. Now, this one has only one out, all right, and three in, all right? So that means you're gonna have one monitor and you can have up to three devices. Right now, we're gonna demo a PlayStation 5 and we're gonna demo an actual computer. Right now, we currently have a computer on. where The computer is actually on, on level one, if you guys can see level one. And then we're gonna put a PlayStation 5, which is sitting right behind it. We're gonna do level one, level two. Now, it's gonna bring your PlayStation 5 so automatically change the windows back and give it a couple seconds it, it takes maybe like a couple of seconds before it kicks in and if you guys notice it's going to start kicking in right about now uh it took about maybe 15 seconds before it starts kicking in all right so and then it's going to start contributing ca calibrating itself but once it does look at this playstation 5 okay playstation 5 on the same monitor using the actual system itself now here i have a remote we have one, it's gonna be this one, and two, it's gonna be PlayStation. If you guys notice, there's two right there. We have number two. We're gonna go back to one. So we hit number one, and we're gonna hit, we just hit on number one, and it's gonna go on the computer, the PC. And it takes like a, maybe one, 15 seconds before it comes up, and then it just sets up. So we got the PlayStation, and we got the PC set up. So we're gonna go back to PlayStation two, five. We're gonna hit this one. You gotta click on it because the IR is right in front of it. Give it a couple of seconds, it's gonna start looking for it. And then after a couple, like 15 seconds, PlayStation takes a little longer because it has to do a, con a configuration and it's gonna click away and then it comes back and there it is. We have a Microsoft Surface design and then we have a PlayStation 5 playing in the background. So like I said, easy to use. You can have up to three items. So we can include another device if you wanted to right now. But currently we only have two devices as a demo. But like I said, if I ever have to have a third computer we can do number three currently right now you need a type c connection and you need one to go out and this is the actual monitor that we currently have right here this is out in sources you got up to three sources to come in right and you have one two and three sources let's see if i can spin it here it is we got one two and three sources right now we currently have only two sources we got the playstation 5 and we got a laptop here. And of course, you are gonna require the power. You could set this up behind the TV or, uh, or the source that you wanna have display, the main sources. If you lose the control, it's fine. You could control it from the front of it. So we're gonna go back to the PC, which is on, on number one. We'll go to PC, and if you guys need notice, I'm doing it manually. It's gonna come up right now. Like I said, it, comes, it takes a couple seconds. And there we are, we're back on the PC. So if you lose the controller, you can always come back. So we're gonna go back to two. Now look at that. Give it a couple seconds, the PlayStation 5 comes up. And that's it, simple as that. Uh, very easy to install. It just, there's a delay setting up because of the actual system. The system actually calibrates a lot. So it takes even longer on PlayStation. But if you have PCs, it won't take that more than five seconds. So easy to install, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.